inside of a cell, um, like for example, maybe during uh, G1, the uh, concentration of cyclin or cyclin dependent kinases uh, remains constant. So the amount you have during G1 is the same during S phase or G2 or M phase. Um, what matters is if the cyclin dependent kinase, CDK, if it's active or not. Now remember from the last video, the way it's activated is when a cyclin attaches to it. So during G1, up there in the top left, you can see um, the uh, CDKs are not activated. However, if the G1 checkpoint is um, passed, the restriction point says, hey, you're clear, go ahead and divide, then the concentration of cyclins increases. So as you get more cyclins, they attach to the CDKs, which activates them. And now these kinases can begin to phosphorylate molecules. And as eventually, um, there's enough cellular responses, enough messages going to G2 checkpoint that says, hey, go ahead and divide, enter in to M phase. And so we name these uh, CDK cyclin uh, complexes. So it's a complex because it's two things put together. Uh, we call this whole molecule, this whole combination, uh, an MPF, an M phase promoting factor. So when there's enough of these activated um, CDKs, uh, then it says, hey, yeah, go ahead and enter into M phase. It's promoting M phase. So MFPs are regulatory molecules that are made up of a cyclin-dependent kinase attached to a cyclin. So it's an activated kinase, and when there's enough of them, that signals the G2 checkpoint to allow the cell to go into M phase. So again, here in, uh, this is a nice summary, uh, you would have an increase in the um, uh, activated CDKs with the cyclin right about here encouraging the cell to go through mitosis and divide.